Flux Tree Travel Docs here today and we walked all the way to our most favorite museum in the world, which is the Frick Collection in the Upper East Side of Manhattan. This is a very manageable, manageable museum to go see because of its small size, but it is full of wonderful masterpieces by artists you may have heard of, including names like Rembrandt, Goya, Titian, Holbein, El Greco, and many more. This is just a fabulous museum to visit. It's housed in the home of one of the industrialists from the turn of the 19th to 20th century, Henry Clay Frick. So who was Henry Clay Frick? He was obviously an art collector. That's why we have this fabulous museum today to visit. But he was an industrialist and he was most infamous as being a union buster in the early 20th century. Fortunately, he was an art collector and he was able to give us this fabulous museum that we can visit today. He was born into modest means, but rose through the ranks to become one of the wealthiest Americans in the earliest 20th century. If you want to learn more about Henry Clay Frick, probably one of the greatest series to watch is The Men Who Built America on the History Channel. There is quite a bit about him. And when he rose to become one of the wealthiest individuals in the earliest 20th century, some of the people with whom he was partners, you may have heard of. People by the name of Andrew Carnegie, for example, or J.P. Morgan. These are the sort of people he was partners with before he died. He built this mansion, which faces Fifth Avenue in the Upper East Side, to house his collection of art. So one of the greatest things about visiting this museum is you can see how Henry Frick intended for his artwork to be displayed. You can see the rooms as they were decorated to highlight the pieces of art, and you can experience much of what it was like to live during the times of Henry Clay Frick and his wife. When Henry Frick died, he bequeathed $15 million and also this mansion to become the Frick Collection as we have the opportunity to visit now. One of the reasons that we love this museum so much is what we already said. It's small, it's manageable. You can visit it in a couple of hours. The audio guide is excellent and see not only the house, but also the fabulous pieces of art. So hopefully we can show you some of the things that we see today at the Frick Collection, but we highly recommend that you visit it and take a walk to get up here. It is a beautiful part of Manhattan and much more peaceful than areas such as Times Square. Um, different level of excitement altogether. So please come and visit it. Um, I think you will truly, truly enjoy it. And hopefully we can show you some of the artwork that is inside. So make meaningful and healthy travel happen for yourself. And this was a healthy walk for me today. As you can tell, it's quite balmy here in New York City today. I think the high was 26 degrees and it feels like 18. So I'm a little cold right now, but please excuse the hat and the glasses, but this is the way that I try to keep warm and keep the sun off of me at the same time. So thanks again for joining us from the Frick Collection in the Upper East Side of Manhattan, New York City.